Okay. Back to not the jazz ship. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Dang. So when that number pops out on a strike, with this, I can become even stronger. Is that actually the number, or is it something else? Okay. is that there's something over here. So I'm gonna get another one. Scarlet Inferno. It says Scarlet Outburst. Oh, is this where the spirit vessel is? What is that huge flower looking thing up there? Is that the ship's engine? Indubitably, as one might expect, large ships require large engines in order to sail. 
And if we destroyed it? We might well sink the ship. Who knows if we would be able to escape before that happens. <laughs> Almadria sure has been busy since the contest began. This isn't Almadria's doing. You mean she didn't build this? The body, yes. However, my guess is that the engine comes from a starship. A starship? As in one of those vessels used to go to and from Lenegas? Correct. The technology employed on Lenegas and in starships is more advanced than anything in our daily lives. Almadria may be resourceful, but she could never produce an engine like this on her own. You mean to tell me we've got even bigger enemies waiting for us up in the sky? Ugh, my head Duh. hurts just thinking about it. Don't worry about that for now. Just focus on taking care of Almadria. <laughs> for things right now. The game's really thinking about this encounter. Welcome to Alex. No choice. For my no see what I can do. Take it. Ah. 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 It's over. Ah. 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 Be still. Ah. 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 Take down their defenses. And get ah. to finish. Oh, I don't title there. This can't get out of this. It's almost too strong. Then I'll split it open. Be my guest. Jolene. Light burst four. Radiant Genesis. Everyone hanging in there? What's this thing? What's this thing? It's a lot of cash. What is this? Elemental attack. Oh. Fortune must truly be watching over me. 
see you over there. Oh. Butterflies. Everyone needs to have a way to be productive on the map. Natural This rest. will make us even... Yeah, that's the one amethyst piece of gear I did not buy yet. These laws. I have absolutely no idea where that was or what that did. I mean, I can certainly guess. My only point is I don't know. Let's see what you've got. Wait to start making our meal. Ooh, we having something new to eat? Let's dispose of the trash. Bring it down! Here! Take this! Nothing gets by me! 
some apples. I'm not terribly interested in that fight. We're gonna fight it because it's only two wolves so it should be easy. Coming through! Take this! Take this! You're finished! Easy fight. Lady Fortune must truly be watching over me. It's unfortunate because there's no way I'm going to make it back. I like, need to reach this encounter before the meter goes away. Now you see what I can do! 
Fans. Oh, you know, I should not have used. Charge like that. I have face. no limit. Just as well, I'm here to stop it. Coming through. Hopefully, this stops it. No. Scarlet Inferno. Will they kill the demon fang? Burn it here. He likes the door. Severing wind. Bad guys really don't mess around. Hmm. Well, there's that. She sure spared no expense on her castle. This must be... The captain's quarters. The presence of the spirit vessel and the sheer extravagance on display can leave no doubt. <laughs> There's no one here. Yeah, but I doubt she's out for a moonlight stroll. You think she jumped ship and ran no. away again? I doubt it. The conniving witch is probably up to something. Break her couch. Agreed. In any case, as long as she has a suddenly sprouted wings, she has to be somewhere on the ship. Let's keep looking. The way this key's been placed, it's like she's daring us to come find her. Yeah. Like it's all some damn game to her. What's wrong, sweetie? Is something scaring you? Maybe he just... <sighs> Doesn't like being in her room. I think there's more to it than that. What could it be?
we have a pair of bosses here. Is this the ship's cargo? What a pain. I can't see anything past all this stuff. Be on your guard. For all we know, there could be something hiding around here. Behind you, Shion. Coming through. The dragon. I'm not done. Here Take goes. this. Into the shadows. You're mine. The uh -huh. creature's uh -huh. out of the sky. Armor is all mine. Heal. Crush. Armor won't sink. Aim for the weak spot. Photon. Ray. Move that promotion. Leader drop. There's some resistance there. On the other hand, on your knees. Time to let it rip. Dragon swarm. Be still. Coming through. Ha! No. Still worth using. Scarlet Inferno. for comfort. Not really. We're very successful in bopping a dragon. But opponent like this should be easy. Let's say we have bopped two dragons too. Here I come! Dragon swarm! Burn in hell! You are going in! You got the spirit! I'm ready to Flashing back! Some solid equipment. 
Dohalim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Elegant. Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No. I do that to sharpen my senses. <laughs> I do that for fun. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? No. Then, it'll be just as well. Oh. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. <sighs> Does the other side have a very sort of like simple immediate switch that I need to be pushing? That was weird that that showed up on my map when it did. Taking out the dragon, open the door. Doesn't feel quite right. Is there something behind the dragon I missed, I guess? Kind of just hoping that they didn't all respawn. to go back and check. So like what happens if you didn't get even see the barrier? Almadria's not in her own room. Just where the hell is she? On the poop deck! It's possible she may be on the bridge, but I would guess that she's waiting for us elsewhere on the ship. Which means she's most likely chosen a place where she'll have the advantage in a fight. Be careful, guys. I came from an entire family of Dan and mages, and that woman murdered all of them. All on her own. I hate to say it, but she's an incredibly powerful astral artist. We already know she specializes in controlling wind astral energy. But on top of that, she might try to sick that monster on us again, too. Right. To that woman, life itself is just a toy for her to play with. Let's make sure we put an end to it. Uh, 
um, am I comfortable with my equipment? Very interesting. Ten percent. That's gonna be twenty percent. Thirty. Let's like click back ten seconds in the video. You missed it. There she is, Almadria. Sup? But all alone? Watch yourselves. She's probably planning something. <laughs> I was getting rather tired of waiting around. Oh my! And I see you came along as well, Dan and Witch. Almadria. What's this? I thought you couldn't stand the sight Oh, come of me. on. Go on, little one. Show me the full force of that hatred of yours. Otherwise, run and hide. This isn't a malice game. Let's go. That's enough! How can you smile while causing pain See, to so many Alvin others? gets to yell at her. That is the way of those who possess great power. The very way we live in Those with power set the example. And those with power. Though you two seem to have forgotten that's the way these things work. And you really think that justifies your actions? You turned all those people into a hollowed sea! What foolishness. It's only natural that the fate of a slave differ from that of its owner. Very well, I admit I did fan the flames just a tad back in the ends. But it wouldn't have mattered in the slightest if there hadn't been a spark to ignite. Without it, my actions would have been fruitless. Huh. Ultimately, see what you did there. It was their very own burning hatred that laid them to waste. To say it was all my fault is simply laying blame at the wrong feet. No one's perfect. We all have darkness in our hearts. But the atrocities that you've committed, they're unthinkable! Your heart is nothing but darkness! What a fool! To think time and time again you would challenge Ren and authority without so much as an inkling of how things actually work. Such ignorance is why your kind has been enslaved for 300 years. Almadria. Well, if it isn't Lord Dohalim. I mean, you already saw These him. people are my allies and friends. I won't let you insult them so. The music just stops. <laughs> <sighs> My, what a shock. I never would have expected you to claim mere slaves as your companions. If I didn't know any better, I would question your noble lineage. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. A traitor such as yourself hardly deserves to be called a lord. Dolan does have power over music, that's true, dragon. You are nothing compared to Dolhalim. Rinwell. What is her dragon gonna drop? He would so never stand her? by and laugh. His people hollowed! Ha! <laughs> what does it matter? You're descended from those who allowed the power and knowledge entrusted to them to wither away. Your pitiful family may have feared it, but I do not. That knowledge and power is all mine to command. And now, you will witness what that power is truly capable of! Mesmold! <laughs> 
It's the dragon from the opening movie. It's the third dragon we're encountering. Ooh, this one looks bigger. Shield. Nice. Enjoy your meal. Let's just leave. Oh, she's riding it. Wait a minute. Is she riding it in combat? That's actually cool. Such sad eyes, child. Let me reunite you with your parents. Shut up! Oh, I'm gonna flyer. take you down if it's the very last thing I do! <laughs> That's right. Loathe me. Every step brings you closer to me! I was right to, uh, put on... You're wrong! You're wrong! I'm nothing like you! I can carve through armor! That applies to you too, boss lady. I like that, like, after I ran around the arena dodging it, like, the beam came right at me. I have, like, a suggestion here. And maybe it's high time I went and I did something like this. Is there a setting here that says, stay the hell away? But there's not a setting for a character to do that. Yeah, don't. Did 
He got to use it now. Yeah, because I had to hit, get the last hit in for this, despite the fact that he's running around with half his health. I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, game. They're attacking separately. I can't land a hit on her. Keep an eye on her. And take out the monster first. You know, it's fine if you want to do something like that. But when you just like remove my ability to act while it happens. Take it away! This is the first time I've actually noticed the lock for items. Behold, the Earth pulse. Tectonic vision. Fair amount of damage. Can't get out of six. I really am thinking Thank this is take down the dragon first. That looks bad. Wait, this does look bad. Attacking the weak spot. It's over. Here it goes. I'll never forgive you. What? I'll take you down. Just an accidentally correct button. You don't scare me. Go for it, Brinwell. Hit her now. Can't hit her now. On your left. It's over. By the power of water. Zero again. Now we're not I can't get out of this. I'm all the damage. Whoa. This is such a long one. Stay away from my friend. It's over. Oh, my God. Like you can't dodge twice fast. Can't end here. So even you know that this is not coming. There's actually nothing you can do about that. Do 
my true power. Oh, Master Corps. Not while I'm around, she isn't. We do this for Armor won't save you. This one's all mine. Eating fire. Easter. In a bind. Try to you Whatever you're seeing. The winds of judgment blow your way! Uh, oh, oh, the the brim can be calamity! Chaotic disaster! So that's the trick up her sleeve. Your actual arms are so special. And now, they're mine! You the will suffer! Lightning is dead! Thunderblade! We have the energy! You're finished! I'll bring you back! I heard... Death Abyss, a new beast of life. My power. You're mine. Dragonborn. I'll bring you back to this. of pieces. Not in your grace. For the Yeah, there's been a second 200 hit point health bar. Curse actually does, but I paint her to have it. It's in your head. No. What was I thinking? I don't know. You will suffer. Don't believe it, man. Not today. You stand still for a second and it's over. We actually might be in trouble here. Also, the camera is awful during this. That dude had like 3,000 hit points left. Now spamming in Demon Fang for zero. Doesn't. <laughs> we hit that thing in the next week. You know, you're not the first boss to have a giant monster. You murdered my mother and father. Prepare to die. But I'm not like you. I need to say my name is Rinwell. Rinwell. Montoya. Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. She's so being monologued too and could do I absolutely nothing you. about it. I'll take you in, and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me, with your foolish, useless pity? A Danon, nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to... It's not about what you think. Or being Danon or Renan. Because I do like you'll the atone for the crimes you committed. And that's all. <laughs> That's not normal. And she's gone. Oh, he's here. 
it's that swordsman again. Oh, you're gonna kill her. Oh, Lord Volron, what brings you here? Uh, no, forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please What's allow your me deal? to make it up to you, my lord. <laughs> Silence now. Wretched sight. Does it hurt? It should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy it. You know, I'm not jumping in after her. Volron. Years ago, the Lord of Ganeth Haros met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name. Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more. Ooh. <laughs> nice scarf. Stop right there! How it poked us into an anime scene. <laughs> Come and find me, if you truly are the Sovereign. Called it! After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. I can finally go home. I doubt I'll ever see this place again. 
as well walk the block once more for old time's sake. <laughs> I can't save. start it means I probably have to talk to everyone Assemble is a very interesting word. Twelve seventy three. Well, that's interesting anyway. Oh. Is the question where is this or is the question when is this? I mean, we, we kind of know that there's a when anyway, but I mean, like, I'm talking about three-digit numbers. As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room. wanted to go back to Dana to my home Alfin Niori
<laughs> Shit. That's a hell of a thing to miss. I know that gate. Maybe I don't. What's that? <sighs> How did you get washed up while wearing armor? Is it useful as a flotation device? <sighs> that... <sighs> How long ago was that? <sighs> Plot flotation. That's right. Shion! I told you he was wearing a monocle. Oh, right. That's what pain felt like. <laughs> so much for it all being a bad dream. I haven't gotten hurt like that since the whole game. Imagine if all the pain just hit him at once. Where am I? Where is everyone? I do not have control. I do not have control. Right then. I do not have control. I need to find them. Better start looking. <sighs> First of all, orb. Second of all, when did we have time to pick this up? just looks wrong. Open suggestions on what he should wear. Um, I have hit points, I have cure points. Cool. Well, Law is going to show up in this fight. Hey, 
There's no no range on that right now. Double demon fang! It's over! Here I cut! You're mine! You're finished! This one's all mine! You picked the wrong fighter! Dragon Swarm! Take this! He took damage, except he didn't take damage. No escape! Dragon Swarm! Double Demon Fang! Be still! Dragon Swarm! Take this! Flaming Thrust! Mirage! You're finished! Dragon Swarm! Okay, there's the damage. Get out of the way, dude. Here I come! Double demon fang! Hut, hut, hut. Dragon swarm! Take this! Double demon fang! It's over! Hut, hut. I'm a little annoyed about it's double gone. demon fang not working. Eat dirt! They don't think I'm going to win this fight. Dragon Swarm! I'm not done! We did it! My turn! Take this! Dragon Swarm! It's over! This one's all mine! Start up! Damage that just do. Dragon Swarm! Dude. I don't know anything about the game and what's busted and what's not. Here I come! Dragon Swarm! Dazzle! Here I come! Dragon Swarm! Dude, don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. Now I'll have to stop reading chat. Alvin? Hey. Finwell. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you all right? Maybe? Y yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from. Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Frinwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Bolron's realm. Remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? I think they already know what happened, and they're if just Bolron's happier here, he's alive. That means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. 
Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little off. I feel. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. have to take that. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? The lemons. Thistleim, it's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danan defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. Especially with such high level monsters. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. Say, hey, Alfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Smooth. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. I wonder if Alfin's going to be okay. For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. Okay, if you know how to actually trigger this owl, I'll take that. Can't jump. So that means we can finally do it. You're saying we should check the owl for it? For 
thing. We should check the place that the game's not going to let us check. jump. Oh, man. Okay, so this is where we started. That means that spicy chicken is no longer an option. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. <laughs> we're literally in league with the Lord. I... I got my memory back. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? Questions that should have been asked 20 hours ago. They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. 
As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maiden they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Naori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is, it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenigus. Over the lives I took. Uh. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? The rebellion? A Perhaps rebellion. it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there. Weeping. Surely not all of Lenigus. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. <laughs> Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the crown contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... <laughs> Alpha That's now right. Twenty-one. I'm pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. He's the Alfin. Alfin, some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter. Only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand <laughs> what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Kisara. Listen. What you really need is time. 
time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. Yeah, Dragon, this is the smack him across the face and tell him to sit down, man. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. <coughs> this is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Start a training montage. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. So I'm telling my wife last night how this game is such an archetype built on top of an archetype. There was no way we were going to get through the game without Alfin finding out he actually is a mass murderer of some sort. And just being like completely for a while. I, so let's see do I even goes. have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think? Whoops, blew up a city. So is Leganus like a space station? Don't answer this PND. Or like, is it just a town? Is it the cocoon? Even the cocoon in 13 had like a bunch of stuff in it. Yo, fast travel. But like, I, th I got the impression it was like a lot bigger than one town. So how did he blow up Leganus? Granted, if it was years ago. Dude knows how to wear a mask. Just saying. Jump again. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So. Feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenegas anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? Did she come with you? She stayed behind. Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait, so you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenegas abducted? You're saying they forced Naori, one of their own, to serve against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. 
She stayed behind on Lenigus to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. I don't think anyone can. Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? That I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. And I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No, you're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Alfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but if you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on. Ask yourself. I need a button for what me. I've been says, fighting, what fighting for. for? How far away is Law? All this time, I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely, too. I guess all of us are, in one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well... You can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realize what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What How? about your hometown? How do we do you actually know, if it's know still there? It centuries ago? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave, with no means to resist. I'd never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nuh-uh. I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. Someone's After all, head now. who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is, that with everything that's happened in your past, Finding out you're the Sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly, I think anyone would be. Rinwell. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering, just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah, all this time you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like... 
I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. All right, we'll leave Law for last. You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their Sovereign in the first place? <sighs> and then there is the Maiden, a figure so powerful, she's playing yin to the Sovereign's yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term Sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes. Or at least that's what they called it. Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is... Just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost. But I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear. <laughs> and sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. Probably just be one, but whatever. Alfin. Are we gonna go rescue Xion or what? <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past, only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? 
fine. I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... My power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Yeah. <sighs> no, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? What's it gonna be, Alfin? <laughs> what do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin... It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. Just do it. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Yeah. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. Back to the inn, I guess. I'm surprised there are owls out here. What I is said it? I was going back to the inn. Zoogles, that's what. They're almost at the village gates. Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Kisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? That's all it Alvin. took. Right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this. Okay. He's never going to get that. Look sharp. Haha. Mm. 
people. If we don't act fast, they're going to get into the village. Right. We need to hurry. We'll get there as soon as the invisible loading people get out of the way. I don't know what stops the timer on my food from running out, but it's supposed to last for what, like 11 or 13 minutes? And it's clearly been more Remember, than that. Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! Oh, of course you left the healer out of the party. Fine by me. Let's get to work then. He doesn't have a mystic card. Guys, we still have a life bottler. <laughs> Movement. And I'll stop your life! My turn! Here I come! 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 At least you get the XP boost. Alfin, you okay? I'm fine. All right. That was the this montage. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. That's the same thing. What's his name said? It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done for us. They look down. There's another 50 Zoogles they didn't catch down there. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this saloon kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something, too. I haven't heard this music in a while. My rage. This fury I feel at our so-called rulers. It comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home. They took everything from me. And left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore. Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bones with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting.
But Xi'an comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xi'an, then we defeat Volron, and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Sword just floats Say there. the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Are we gonna not sleep at the end then? Hmm. We, we don't know what lies ahead. We there. should prepare well before we venture forth. Yeah, can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. Didn't Mahavar explode, or was that by supposed the way, to be the boat? How is Mahavar doing? Uh. <sighs> Wait. Don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the, the coast, the ship but... Again? All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. You mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down, isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine. Let's get going. Thistleim was founded by Danon's fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even the weird Danans just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? She went fishing. You saw how destitute the village was? They needed food, badly. We hunted some zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not! Xion's our friend! Almadria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renan. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right. That she'd gotten what she deserved. She did. But another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <clears throat> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't. 
if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching, after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Check out the end. Okay. Why? <sighs> You're stealing the fish. Not the fish. Damn it. Hmm. What? Is that so? Okay. Let's see what we can do. Great job. I thought it said fishing friends, and then I thought maybe I misread it, and it would be funny if it said fishing fiends. I'll but I'm these small pretty frogs. sure upon further examination, it actually does say fishing fiends. Who's the apex predator of these waters? Just watch and see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I guess we're having fish for dinner tonight. Wait a minute. There's a run button? This game has a run button! Have you guys checked your equipment lately? So hang on. Yeah, I think it's that. Unless I want to play as law for a while. Which I'm not ruling out. Um, You can never be too prepared. But this. 
This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art. Wink. I am questioning a little bit how far we go into hour 33 here. Terrapin Okay. We're all right, Alf. Then. What is this? Run button. You can run and jump. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? Feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. Mm. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? Right here. What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah. I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered could be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. Is this like the triumphant version of the uh, initial Aries music? It's on! Here I come! Dragon Dragon. I'll smash you! Hurricane denied! Can't be 
So we've lost our white mage. And we taken away the, the hero's primary attack. You picked the wrong fighter. Pose. This should come in handy when crafting weapons. We are in the jungle. We, the, the jazz ship ended. And now. There's a nice breeze here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Welcome to fishing. Jazz ship tried to uh, kill the music. It's a way to blow up a dragon. Looks like I hooked a pretty rare fish. Wow, what an awesome fish you caught. That's a good one. <laughs> there we go. These are the same kind of fish. <laughs> this is now a fishing stream. I should stop soon. Especially if this is the same type of fish. Uh, this one is a dash. Uh, we might have something else on our hands here. Uh, uh, There's a rainbow up there. That's not a fish I see often. So kind. what's it to be? Grilled or broiled? I mean, I know I could just switch um, lures and I'd probably catch All we have else. to do is get rid of that thing, right? These are the things I'm actually supposed to kill for subquests. There's two of them. But an opponent like this should be easy. In a bind? <laughs> You're finished! Leave the to me! Huts. Here I go! Oh, yeah. Can you take it? Dragon swarm! <laughs> Leave the insane to me. I'm not sure if slow games is completely the uh, outfit Alphen's currently wearing is one he actually got very early in the game. Look like sharp. current events, we have put Let back on it for fun. obviously he's also Let not wearing that. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! This should come in handy when crafting weapons. This place is thick with foliage. I know. This place is thick. It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. 
I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elder Menencia Pride. Retreat if you Don't know what's good friend. for you! Hurricane Power! Radiant Light! Can't get out of this! If they wreck you, you gotta jump for cover, okay? Crush the phone! Power the hurricane! Uh, 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 you! You're mine! I'm gone! They smite with blackened blade! Charge is not here to be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop! Great, forgive me. Everybody's it's down. It's over. I'll tear you apart. Don't see me, friend. Armor won't save you. I'm guard. Dragon swarm. Be still. I'm ready. It's my turn. Hurricane This one's all mine. Here I go! Hurricane Spike! Double C! Shut up! Take it away! Missile fly! In an instant! Impact cross! Not a chance! Ready to go! Eat this! Hurricane Spike! Double C! 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 Together, there is nothing that can stop us. Indeed. As one, we are unrivaled. And... and that is our greatest strength. <sighs> oh, ho, ho. Check the owl forest? This is as soon as the game lets us fast travel there. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Seriously? Is this a joke? You're finished! Double Demon Fang rending you apart. <sighs> Looks like we won. What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, 
Alphen still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. They're gonna confront the merchant. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution, until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renan like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me, I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the Maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori, then I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but... Do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones. So deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's well, certainly obviously. possible. As for how, I wouldn't know. But the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm right here, guys. I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... You know, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned. But if you don't rest when you can, you're going to regret it. She's right. We need our rest to conserve our strength. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, you two. No problem. We'll save Xion. I know we will. I'm gonna stick with the beef stew, honestly. This shall suffice. Please, everyone, have as much as you like. <laughs> Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? I wanted to ask you something. I'm all ears. How much contact did you have with the other lords back in the day? I only saw or exchanged words with them on a handful of occasions. Not that I was particularly keen on even that much. Almadria made it sound like the two of you had some kind of history together. She was like that with all of the lords, not just me. She was always interested in who she could use, who had value for her own ends. Having said that, she wasn't quite so brazen back when we were still in Lenigus. In a sense, she may have been a victim of the Crown Contest as well. Almadria? A victim? To a Renan, 
There is no greater honor in life than being chosen to serve as a lord, let alone to go on and become the next sovereign. We are taught that from the day we leave the womb. There are few Renans who wouldn't be ecstatic at the prospect of ascending to lordship. To make people angry. You yeah. were like that though, right? You've always struck me as a more grounded guy. No sane Renan would ever dare admit that their interests lie in anything but power and prestige, even if they feel so in their heart of hearts. The more you talk about it, the more it seems like the crown contest is nothing but misery for Renans, too. Which is why I seek to end it. Not that I imagine Danans such as Rinwell are all that interested in hearing tales of woe such as mine. We'd best get ready for tomorrow. He's a James Bond villain now. Alone. I'm all alone. Okay. Let's go. We don't want to keep Xion waiting. So many skits. I wanted to check that last thing. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Demo skit. Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly, but if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send down lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear false thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. I don't know what to do. Things can't go on like this. What do you mean? Ah! Oh, it's you, Rinwell. You just finished talking. You were talking about me, weren't you? No. I wasn't. I've just been thinking about some things. Really? How unusual. Cut it out. I'm being serious here. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about... You know how I used to work for Ganabelt back when I was in Cislodia? Yeah, of course. You were brought in after the Snake Eyes killed your friends, right? I mean, you had to. Right. I used to have nightmares about it when I fell asleep. But lately, that's been happening a lot less. I don't know how to feel about that. That's a good thing, isn't it? You should be happy. Yeah, but... <sighs> I did a lot of terrible things back then. And I'm scared I'm starting to forget what I did. Okay, so let me just get all of this straight. You think you'll forget everything if you stop having those nightmares? Why? Because, uh, you know me, I'm freaking stupid. But it sure doesn't sound to me like you've forgotten. Oh, yeah, but still. 
I don't think those nightmares going away means you've forgotten. Maybe it's a sign that you've come to terms with what you did. Come to terms? You mean like Alfin with his past? You think that's what's happening? Yeah, I do. <sighs> You're pretty amazing, Law. I am? Yeah. Not all of us have figured out how to accept our pasts. Least of all, me. <laughs> Rinwell. for each for the catfish. You guys checked your equipment lately? Yo. So did the ranch expand because I'm at the, up to this point in the game or because I've been using it? over now. Take you all off. Flare the Malata. You're mine. In an instant. Impact block. Not a chance. Dragon swarm. Going in. Be still. Mirage. Dragon swarm. Eat it. Hurricane. I'm gone. Here comes the wind. I'm ready. Law. I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life. Cool. There's always room for improvement. Boomies. Wild boomies. It's on. Dragon Swarm! 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 Dragon Swarm!
Quite necessary when creating weaponry. The splashes of color are neat and I can feel my power lots of growing. flare, but I can't see a damn thing. You have that now, right? So it really is just kind of between these two. You guys want to rest here? I'm very confused why this fast travel point exists. That's new. Travel points all the way down here.
Looks like we made it here in one piece. Haven't gotten a bag of skill points in a little while. Okay. Okay. Yes. What? Really? Use nets. Dohalim. <laughs> <laughs> You're fishing for a lot of people, yeah, you can net. Dohalim, I'm going to look into some seasonal fishing spots. Hmm, by all means. Leave the preparations to me as well. I'll bring the rods. Would you prefer your fish served grilled or raw? I'll uh, trust your judgment, Kisara. And that's where we'll leave it. Now that we sat through like another half hour of skits. Looks like. Like we made it here in one piece. because we did get a couple of parts. You guys checked your equipment lately? Unfortunately, we're gonna sleep one more time too, and then raid Sage Hero. I find the sounds of the night to be rather comforting. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Mind if I join you, Law? Alright. Night! Raid Sage playing Mega Man. Pick this up later. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. Save and see ya. <laughs>